Hey guys, Mobile Thanks Engineer bringing you, it's going to be a deck profile really quick and then it's going to be some, uh, like, I'm going to do at least two games um, with Nature Spirits. So this is one of the new decks out of EX7. Um, I was doing a review on the on the set, like I said I was going to do, but for some reason when I was recording, it, the videos got split up into two videos for some reason. Hopefully it doesn't happen with this one. But anywho, uh, let's get started with the egg. So this is the egg that you have to use basically. Um, it's an NSP, it's a promo, it's one of the the current tournament promos before the newest come out in October, I believe. Um, it's a very, this, this whole deck is dirt cheap. The deck is probably maybe like 20 bucks if you're lucky. Um, or maybe a little cheaper too, because the most expensive card in the deck is going to be this uh, Saber Leo Mon Ace. So, uh, one Yaman, one attacking, if this Digimon has the NSP trait, which everything in this deck does have, except for two cards, which is going to be the Ugomons, you get to draw a card. So, the first rookie we're going to be playing is uh, Otamamon. So, it's literally only in here because um, it's an NSP. And we're trying to keep everything NSP because everything can evil on top of NSP, ignoring the colors, essentially. So, you can't really, like... You could technically, I guess, try to make some tech choices. But it's... it's I think it, in, 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 like, the, the long run, it's going to, like, like, bite you in the butt really bad. Um, so players can't reduce play costs. That's all it does. There's nothing else. Uh, Gotsumon, it's a blocker. It's, a, it's NSP. Uh, inherits reboot. Uh, Ukumon is here because since there are so many different colors in the deck, and sometimes you, you do need certain pieces to, like pop off, especially for like the uh, the DNA combo, you you this helps a lot and helps you keep drawing more when you hatch. So we were only running uh, four, eight rookies. That's it. Because if you type in NSP over here in DCGO, that's literally the only rookie that we got. And this is literally it. So the deck is pretty like tight until they make more support for it. Uh, for, the, for the first level 4, uh, we are playing 4 Gekkomon. This card is just, I, in my personal opinion, it's an insanely good card. Uh, just because it nets you 1, it's, it's a plus 1. Um, on Digibob, you draw a card. And then on Digimon for its effect, you draw a card, and it's on play, draw a card. So it just it helps you dig much faster. And the inherit is jamming. Like it's this is just a solid card overall. Uh, next we are playing four Starmons. Uh, on play when Digivolving, one of your opponents Digimon gets minus three thousand DP for the turn. Very cool. And then the inherit is barrier. So super super cool. And they're both four costs, which is really nice. Uh, next is the it's a new Monochromon. So evils for one, which is very very nice. And the inherit is piercing. Has no base effect, but the evils for one and the inherit is piercing. So super, super good. And so we are running 4, 8, 12, level 4. So the racial switches like, are pretty weird, as as you can see up here. Uh, we are playing one Shogun Gekko mod. I was, I'm trying to racial around for this right now. Um, this is probably one of the better level 5s for the NSP right now, currently. Um, on play, one of your opponent's Digimon Tamers cannot suspend. So that's already strong enough. It's because it's against certain cards like, oh, you can't swing, you can't suspend, you can't hit your memory, you can't do whatever shenanigans it does. Uh, then during your turn, this is the reason why it's really, really strong. None of your NSP trade Digimons attack targets can change, so they can't block you, they can't redirect you, they can't do anything. It goes straight to where you're swinging at. Uh, then we were running. Uh, for Piximon, I might change this one a little bit because at the same time, you're not trying to have this die. You're trying to... Uh, you're just going to give on top of it, essentially. Uh, but you know what? We're actually going to... We're going to dump her to two and just put in three uh, Shogun of Gekko. I just think this card is like amazing. Uh, on the Leashin, you may play one cost for a lower Digimon card that is yellow or has the NSP trip in your hand. It's not paying the cost, which is every level four here and every rookie. Uh, only an outside, like, it has to die, and so, let's say you eat over this on top of the barrier, it's like, oh, well, you don't want to lose your stack. And so, at that point, you're just going to be evil on top of it. So, we're going to try it at 2. Uh, next is uh, Triceramon. This level 5 is pretty bonkers. On play when Digivolving, you can suspend one of your opponent's Digimon. Then, uh, that the period, that Digimon can't unsuspend until the end of their turn. So, they can't use effects, they can't use anything. If you play against Vortex, they can't unsuspend it with their own effects because this is a hard stun. And the inherits all turns when a Digimon deletes your opponent Digimon about it, you trash their top security card. And next for the last level 5, you're running 3 Jagamon. Uh, 
this deck is missing something i feel like they're gonna get a level five in the future maybe hopefully um, i'm i'm coping here that uh all their nature spirits can rush which i think would be very very cool and make the deck a lot more uh threatening so on play you can the digimon whatever opponent's digimon are, are already very strong and during the opponent's turn all of your digimon is the nsp trait gain a blocker so very very nice and no inherit so these two do not have inherits uh next on to the six oh yeah so for the four for the fives you're playing 12. on to the sixes so uh this is probably the best uh boss monster thing like talakmon's cool but i think this card is just strictly better um so on play with digivolving two of your opponents suspended digimon get minus eight thousand dp till the end of the turn so they do have to be suspended but usually that's not really an issue and then when digivolving when attacking suspend one of your opponent digimon so essentially you'll guarantee the minus eight thousand or something then if they have no unsuspended digimon this digimon unsuspend so essentially the, he can swing twice if they have no unsuspended digimon and what's really nice so it's when digivolving and when attacking uh next is the other boss monster of the deck there are three boss monsters essentially in this deck uh it's the it's, it's a new um Aradimon, so it has built-in blocker on play when digivolving you could reveal the top four cards of your deck play up to seven play cost total worth of nsp trait digimon cards um was from among them without paying the cost and then you bottom like the rest so you can play like you can play this and a rookie you can play a free level five you can play two level threes you, you, you there's, a lot, there's a lot you can do and then at the end of the turn two of your digimon made dna into an nsp trait digimon in your hand and now for like the the actual like boss monster is Talakmon. So when digivolving, you so the DNA digivolve requirements are pretty are pretty wild because it says green, uh, green, yellow, black, blue. So it, they do not have to be those exact colors. Like for instance, this is one of the targets to DNA into it. As long as the, the Digimon, both of the Digimon, or at least one of those colors, you can go into this guy. So when digivolving, you may play one. Uh, you may play one you may play one play cost seven lower digital card with the nsp trait from your hand as i'll paying the cost if you dna you can instead play two digimon but they have to be different colors and then when digivolving when attacking this is this is the very strong part about this it's a walking uh heaven's judgment but a, a little better because it doesn't care about the color it, care, it cares about how big your board is one of your opponent's Digimon gets minus 7,000 for each of your Digimon. And so it basically kills every, anything you want whenever it swings. And then we were playing uh, three Davis because we have blue, we have yellow, we have green. And this basically searches the this, 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 this. It, it searches a good chunk of the deck. And then one Ice Wall because we can run Ice Wall. All right, so let's get into this and let's go do some games. Hopefully we don't break. Let's see if we can find a game pretty quick. That way this video isn't like too, too crazy long. There we go. We found a game. Okay. It's a it's an okay hand. I'm debating about keeping it because we do have a Davis. Uh, I'll risk it. You know what? I'll risk it. And we are going second, so we will get the second draw. Let's see what we're playing against. Ooh, okay, we're playing against Gallimon. I don't think I do want to like try working on, but the deck is it's it's trash right now. It's it's dog water, it is a perfect, great. Uh, it's dog water. It's a heavy uh, heavy metal Dramon. The, the the deck's pretty bad. Like. It's, oh, nice. And so now we're just going to play this. Maybe so we get two hits. We got one hit. There was three of these on top of the deck. That's wild. Um, but yeah, uh, Heavy Drone. It's, a, it's an interesting deck, but the deck doesn't trash cards in hand enough. Like, I do wish that the level six was like end of your turn, trash a card, and then you can play something. That way you, you, you can keep reducing the amount of cards in your hand, but it doesn't do that. So let's see if he evils or he just swings. Okay, he's just gonna eel over two. Gonna give a blitz. We're gonna mill three. We're gonna mill. We're gonna build like a seven and a six. Watch. Okay, a, a four and a five. 
I wish I had that Gekumon. They had the ace. No swing. Go to three. So we got this. Uh, and we mm, we can't kill it unfortunately. But we're gonna evil for two. Give it minus four, and then we're just going to go into this. Suspend it and lock it out, essentially, for a turn. So they can't suspend, they can't blitz with it. They can evil for three. Um, they could potentially kill it if they go into the war Graumon. Um, that can delete a 6,000, but if you don't, you get to evil for like a reduction of one into a Galamon. Uh, that can get rid of this, but hopefully they can't. But let's see what they do. Ah, this card over here, yeah. I am very familiar with this deck because my friend does play it and it's like, it's basically max rarity, so it's like the same thing. So now we're just going to see what they're going to do. Okay, the red men boost. Ooh, nice. Three three rookies. That's not nice. Three rookies and a seven. Okay. Which one is this one? Oh, that's just the top four. Look at every Takato that you see. So I don't want to waste a memory. Oh. So I have two choices. I can either go into this, maybe rip it off the top, or I can just hard play this after I go into this, kill it, and then I can do more stuff. Because I do have barriers, so I won't die in battle. You know what? Let's let's gamble. This is why he's here. Did not pay off. I wish we hit a five. I you know what, let's just play this one. All right, we draw that. You know what, let's swing over this. That way we can trash. Okay, very cool, very cool. Uh, you can't play anything. So I think we're in a decent spot right here. But just to be safe, let's go into this. That way next turn, we could evil into this and just like keep turn. Three might have been too much, but. Okay, evil's in the back. So I'm, I'm, I'm assuming that's his only rookie. Unless he top deck another rookie. Okay, so it looks like we're still fine. Okay, he was in the back. Okay, so that doesn't do anything there. We're going to go to three. Promote. I'm going to swing with this because it is a barrier, so I have nothing to worry about. We're going to draw a card. Oh, so we still run it over. Ah, no, we don't win here. We Do we win here? No, this one doesn't have barrier. Turn. All right, uh, right. It was for three, right? Yeah. Okay. It was for three on top of an NSP tray or a Leomon. Oh, I can't even. Oh, so that's a force trigger then. Okay, so you cannot choose not to do that. So I don't win here because it, apparently it triggers, which is unfortunate. But I do have jamming, so I have no reason not to swing. That's not good. Uh, you know what? Let's leave him there. Do apologize for my dogs barking. We are going to DNA using this. I mean, this is probably dangerous in all, in all honesty because they have the. We're going to play this and we're going to play. Oof, not a lot of options in my hand. And we'll just play this. 
So where's the good? Oh, we're going to choose the Tamer, so we can't suspend next turn. So they, that's one memory they're shy of. We're going to swing. Draw a card again. That's not good either. <laughs> again, I do apologize, apologize for my dog's barking. Hopefully it's not too loud. I had two cards? Oh my gosh. All right. Was this out of my hand? Huh. And then we'll just evil here to give everything blocker. <gasps> this doesn't have reboot, but it does have barrier. All right, let's see what they do. Okay, they're gonna go into this. I hate this card. So they can pop an 8,000 or less. They can pop the Jagomon and make sure everything gets uh, loses blocker. He'll tap the game one, but he can't tap the second one. Now I am just curious about what he's going to do. Oh, he's just going to swing. Swing, pop, sure. Oof, just gets demolished. And just decides to play this. He's, he, can, he can kill one thing. And did he get three memory back? Yeah. Okay. He has one security. I don't think he can win. Okay, that's not a blocker. We're just going to swing, get it out of the way. And then he does have a memory setter. You know what? We're just going to be cheeky with it. This is, this is, this is whatever's. They can't really trigger. But we're going to keep his crimson mode suspended so we can't swing and get some free trash again. Evil's in the back. I wouldn't be surprised if he scoops. Man's looking pretty healthy. I have one five, but three of these uh, Saber Leos. That's another downside for the deck too. I'm hoping they make a, another NSP soon because this um can only play out this in order to like dna at the end of your turn yeah so yeah he's we can't there's, there's really nothing much you can do from that all right so let's do one more game but the deck is a lot of fun i i like what it does but i just feel like it's it's missing something like security attack plus one like sure they can trash um but i think it's missing something Ooh, that's a that's a nice hand We're gonna keep, we're going second two again, so. We're playing against Misa, whoever that is. Oh, we're playing it all four. Oh no, this isn't all fours. This is, I think this is Magna. Okay, okay. Or maybe it's just Flame Drummond Control. We only, we only run two and we've got both of them. Uh, okay, this has raid. You know what? Let's just pass the turn because whatever we play in our hand is going to die. So let's actually just do that. Because now he has to swing if he wants to get value. And then he also has potential to hit a, a Davis for us. 12k, still pretty nice. 12k body. Has to armor purge. See, if I played a body, he could have raided, trashed it, and then done something else. So it goes into this again.
And then just proceeds to play Vmon. Okay. Passes the turn. No actual rookie yet. There we go. Alright. And we're going to hatch. Yeah. We're going to swing. And it doesn't die. But you know what? It's okay. It didn't die, which means they still can't get their effect off. And we will just build up a blue stack in the back. And yeah, let's just let's just do this. Bada bing bada boom. Also, the, the artwork for all three of these cars is like so adorable. Look at him. He's just chilling, enjoying the rain. This guy's relaxing. Look at that. It's cool. Oh, I, I personally do like this card a lot. Plays a PV mod. I didn't, and I think he's allowed to DNA. And if he DNAs against Blocker, I think. Yeah. Can't be leading in battle and against Blocker. Oh no, he's gonna ship the egg that I can't use. <laughs> Alright, so he's gonna get a memory. They can't unsuspend, sure. I think he has piercing. Yeah. But he has jamming, so it doesn't really matter. He dies today to show go get come on. I'm already at one security. Jeez. Oh, uh, never mind. Now I can't win. We're just gonna surrender because we 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 literally cannot help that. Because e even with this, it's it's not enough. All right, so that was a very quick game. Let's do one more. So hopefully we don't fight against Misa. If it takes like a minute to find somebody, I'll just I'll just um I'll end the video right here. Because I want to make you guys wait. Just perfect. Speaking of the devil, we're playing against Camrad. No rookie, no four, but we do have this. I'm first. You know what? We'll keep it. We'll keep it. All right, all right. We're gonna hatch, and we can put him to one, which is very cool. So we need a regular rookie and we need a four. Oh, come on. Okay. So we're, we're playing against fishes or we're playing against Hexablau. I mean, this is like the fish egg, essentially. No, 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 this is fish. This is fish. When you play they don't put your, your sources, you get a memory. All right, this is fish. This is not Hexablau. Ooh, no memory gain. Okay. That'll gain memory anyways. Oh, uh, we're gonna have that. You know what, guys? We're gonna high roll. We're going to do it, and we're just going to hard play this and see what happens. Because if it works, it's hilarious. We hit it! <laughs> oh, we did it! <laughs> uh, use. Yes, yes, yes. You're going to get DNA into this. Doing this. And this. Drawing a card. Uh, we're going to play one Digimon. We're going to play two Digimon. So we're going to play this and this. Actually... That's gonna die, so we'll play this and this. And then we're gonna give it minus 21,000. We we took a gamble, we took it. They do have a nine memory, but it worked. <laughs> ah, we're playing against the crook. Oh, come on. I don't like that. I don't like that one bit. This is hilarious. 
That is the highest, the high. That is the highest high roll you can do with this deck. But but he has nine memory. He has so much to work with here. I don't like that. <laughs> I don't like the paladin ace. He did not choose. I would I would have added the paladin. If I had that much memory, I would have added the paladin ace 100%. But like not the hard play because if he hard he hits, now he's just setting up. Because if he hard plays it, I just kill and I gain five memory. We both draw a card. I appreciate that. No, he's bouncing back my rookie. Gains a memory. Now what's he gonna do? <laughs> Die. Die for dark side. They should make an NSP memory blocker. It'd be great. Alright, so he has two of these in his hand. Oh, okay, so he is playing Hexablaw. Interesting, interesting. He chooses to add a four. Okay, so we got a rookie. Let's get rid of this. Uh, we're just going to swing at him. And we're going to give it minus tw uh, tw 14k. Lives. Uh, I feel like we have to play the tamer. No, you know what? We'll swing with this. Nice. So it dies on deletion. We'll play out the chroma, the monic roman. And then we will evil for three. Actually, no, let's go wide. Let's go wide. I mean, we hit it again, which is very cool. But we're going to play seven more for cards. We're going to play these two. Just so he can't bounce everything back to the hand. We'll draw a card. Nice. I should have iced walled and then did that. Because I am in so much danger right now. I, I, big misplay. I should have iced walled and then did that. That way, whenever he swung, two memory, two memory, two memory. Oh, and then he, then he would have missed the threshold for this too. All right, misplays all around. Okay, looks, looks like he's gonna go to Hexablow. Which means I'm, he's going to get three memory. Four memory. So we're both going to draw a card again. No, I, sh I should have played that ice wall. Okay, he's going to Hexaval. But it's still a good thing I didn't uh, get rid of any, play, place any tamers. Oh, what? Oh, from under your opponent. Oh, wow. So you can pick and choose. That's pretty cool. Pretty, pretty cool. But this minus 7,000 is a just digital effect, which is for six. But I could just clear that body if I top deck one. I don't know if this is the ideal build for Hexablow. Very cool. He gets the unsuspend. I am not going to block because it's just going to die. Seven. Three. Oh, he has two checks. Why? Oh, he's built in security attack plus one. <laughs> and he has jamming. 
Does he have Blitz Omni? I'm gonna cry if he has Blitz Omni. But but if he Blitz Omnis, he sort of just loses because then I could just block that. I got scared for a second. I'm just trying to draw it. Here, bounce back a rookie back to my end. And I still have a one block. Okay. I guess he just wants to draw cards right now. So unfortunately, there is not really much I can do. I really wish this was a uh, this was um a one digivolving skill. Nothing can suspend. <sighs> no, ice fall doesn't matter. You know, we're gonna do it just cause. Mm. Oh, I don't have a five. As ice clad. Oh, this is a rough spot for us right now. This might just be the best bet, honestly. Oh, I can't do that. God dang it. Uh, we'll just hard play this. Did Digivolve this? Now he has to deal with <laughs> six blockers. I'm assuming he has another one. Like there's, there's, there's uh no way. Cause he, he only picked up one. So he picked, he has a Mirage. Oh no, we just lose now. Cause he'll evil into that. He'll bounce back the Jagamon back to my hand. Gain memory. And then he could technically burst if he has a um, Thomas. What? Oh, he wants to put more cards in my hand. And gain a bunch of memory. Oh, this is the one with the attack target cappy switch, right? Oh, yeah, I lose. That's it. <laughs> well, I'm gonna choose the block. Ah, <laughs> but yeah. But I hope you guys enjoyed that. The deck is pretty fun. Like even when it pops off, it still doesn't do too much. But it's it likes to go wide. But like, there's no more. There's no, like no protection on the field. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed that, and I'll see you guys next time.